This Copilot in Teams tutorial is part of my Microsoft Copilot Essentials from AI to Beginner Proficient course that I made freely available for you guys. The lesson, not the whole course. <laughs> I'm David, a Microsoft MVP and full-time Microsoft Copilot teacher. And I really hope you enjoy the lesson and I've put the link to the full course in the description below. Enjoy learning Copilot in Teams. We are in Microsoft Teams right here. So to the left, I am in the calendar tab and I want to show you something very important, a setup that you need to put. So let's create a new event today, Wednesday. We're going to call it very, very, very cool meeting. And then I'm going to click here on more options and I'm going to check Teams meeting. Of course, we want to do a virtual event. And one thing that you need to check is very important, I think. Click on meeting options at the top and then you're going to go over to recording and transcription. So for Copilot to work, you will need to have your meeting recorded and transcribed. So, you know, like the captions, like the text of your meeting. And what I like to do when I set up a meeting is actually turn on record and transcribe automatically. So I don't forget to record once we are live. So we're going to put this to on. You cannot put it on by default. You can only set it to all the new meeting. You'll have to do it manually. And then basically you set up the language and then you click save. And then when you will join the meeting, let's save that. When you will join the meeting, you get on your meeting. It's going to be automatically recorded. And I recorded for you the very serious meeting with my friend Grania Degan. And I will show you the features of Copilot of what we could do during this one hour meeting that I summarized to just a few minutes to show you the features of the tool. And I'll catch you in a few seconds. All right, so the first thing I want to show you, as you can see, I am in a meeting with Grania again. Here she is right here at the top left. You can see that as soon as I started the meeting, the recording went on, which means we now have Copilot listening to everything, doing a transcript, and we can actually ask questions. To the top right, you will have your Copilot button that you can click. Similarly to all of the tools, Excel, etc., it's going to pop a pane to your right. There's a few information that you can actually, that you need to know. First, right here, it's your co-pilot. So other people in the meeting cannot see this conversation, right? So it's your own pain to ask questions. You went to the toilet, you want the summary of the meeting while you were away. You can just ask the chat, but nobody else will see. At the bottom right, we have quite a few pre will prompt as usual. The first one or the second one, I should say, is the list action items. This is a feature that I want to talk to you about. And basically in this case, the meeting I just started, we were just, you know, doing small talks and I clicked on list action item. What it said, it automatically sent this prompt right here. Can you summarize action items so far? Copilot told me, I'm sorry, but I could not find the information you requested in the meeting transcript. There was no action items at this point. I will let you listen a few glimpse of the conversation, few sneak peeks, and I will come back in a second for clicking again on list action items. It's the outline for my course that is releasing next week. And I would yeah. like you to put comments in there. I love the co-pilot in Outlook videos that you did. By the way, they're really nice. Oh, uh, I would like you to go on YouTube and actually modify the description to add keywords for the research, you know, like SEO keywords. Oh, and by the way, um... Also, the auditors um, are looking for our members by the for the Piggy Beans Cafe uh, by the, I, I, it's in the chat. I think it's the 28th of the month. So just FYI, you, you, the the Excel file is ready for you, but it, it's you've got to do the analysis. I hope you enjoyed this very cool conversation between Grania and I about the co-pilot courses and everything. So once all these discussions were over, I tried again to click on list action items. And as you can see, co-pilot listed very well all these three action items. Actually, co-pilot told me review the helpline for David's course. It understood wrong because of my French Canadian. It, it, we should see outline and uh, next week and add comments to it. And it put the person that it should do it in parentheses. So I asked Grania to do that. Pretty cool. Uh, we discussed about the SEO on my YouTube video, etc. 
again, it put the action items there. And even later, Grania asked me the auditor analysis. And you know, it was uh, all uh, made up, all of this, the auditor analysis. And it actually put this third action item to my name. I think it's pretty, pretty cool, to be honest with you. I would like you to be careful, though. Maybe there's one missing. In our case, we spoke for like 11 minutes plus. Didn't miss any of them. It was super thorough, super good. Uh, but I want to tell you that if you're too quick, if we just said it, it feels like it takes time to Copilot to do the transcript. So when I was going in to try the tool and click on list action item pretty quickly, it actually took some time and sometimes was saying no action item, but then I tried like one minute after and it worked. So that was the list action items uh, feature. I think it's pretty cool. On to the next feature. All right, so at this point, we were talking for 13, 13, yeah, 13, 13 minutes, 45 seconds. And I asked Copilot, can you generate the notes for an executive meeting summary? I just want you to remember that it is a machine to forecast the next word. And also it's very good at analyzing text, right? So a text recognition, very good. So imagine we're just talking, it's putting this in a transcript, right? So it's words and it's just analyzing the uh, the transcript. So basically it's not doing magic. I'm going to hit play here and you will see that Copilot is actually generating the meeting notes. Grania is still talking during this time and you will see the executive meeting summary. So basically it's just doing it straight up in the right pane. I think it's pretty interesting, this feature. But what if, what if, what if, what if you were too busy this day and you missed the meeting. Uh, it happens to all uh, the best of us. And now I'm back in Microsoft Teams and you can see that in my chat pane, okay? Uh, I have my previously recorded meeting. If you go into your activity as well, you see that the meeting recap is ready. I will click here and it brings me back to my very serious meeting, which was the meeting that we're uh, looking at since the beginning. And now we have super interesting uh, features that Copilot unlocks, right? So first, the one that I want to show you is the AI summary. So even if you didn't attend the meeting, if you were just invited to it, you can go to the AI summary and actually scroll down here and you will see all of the topics that were actually discussed during the meeting. So I can click here, Copilot and Outlook, click here. And you will see that uh, David praised Grania for the videos on Copilot and Outlook. She did amazing work. So I, amazing work. So I just told her, and Copilot actually detected. So you have the whole conversation right here. How good is this? How good is this? How good is this? And even below that, you will see what I talked about earlier: the list action item. It's right here. Follow up task, and you have all of the follow up tasks right here you missed the meeting and here we go it's right there you have the regular uh, microsoft copilot teams uh, options here topics chapters etc uh, but i won't go uh, through this uh, basically you can also click on the copilot button to the right and ask question on this meeting even though you were not there so basically you have my historical that just appeared uh, but it's the same just after the fact of uh, the meeting you can also click open in stream and then it will bring you to Microsoft stream and you can see uh, pretty much the same uh, pane that you see everywhere, except that you are in another uh, vision, in another view, in another vision, in another view. So I think it's pretty interesting. So that's basically it, what you can do with Copilot and Teams. But I want to show you one last thing. All right, I'm so excited to show you this. This is actually brand new. So we are back in Copilot in OneNote, okay? So I'll show you how to attach everything together. If you go in OneNote, at the top, you have meeting details. Click on this. To the right, you will have a pane that will pop. You must be logged on the same account as in your Copilot in Outlook, uh, Copilot Teams or Teams, you know, Teams, Out, OneNote, same account, right? As you can see here, you have the meeting details, today's date, and you will see all of the meeting that you had listed right here, straight up in your OneNote. I think this is amazing, to be honest with you. I will click on this meeting. 
here we go. And as you can see, it will bring the a very serious meeting. You will have a link to your Outlook item, the link to the recording, and the link to the AI powered meeting summary. This is completely insane. Okay. Uh, so I have all of my Outlook, I keep saying Outlook, Teams uh, information loaded in OneNote. And I can, I can keep track of uh, my uh, notes every time. You even have your AI suggested task right here. And it's crazy because now if I take all of this, and I click on Outlook task to the top, add an Outlook task to your notes. Click here. I will put all of these for tomorrow. Here we go. It will put some flags. And if I go back in my Outlook, it might take a delay, right? Uh, I will see this appear in my tasks. Super cool, right? So I will now click on add page and I will, I don't know, put tomorrow's date and I can select in my calendar tomorrow meeting. And you will see that tomorrow I have the very, very, very cool meeting <laughs> that is coming up. And again, right now there is no recording because it's tomorrow's, but you will be able to do the same thing. It's going to load the outlook. So, uh, and the notes and, and everything. So I think this is a super, super, super cool. I hope you enjoyed the co-pilot in Teams tutorial and I will catch you in the next video.